Hello, I'm Lux. And I'm Ember. And this is a sponsored video brought to you by Sack Bronies. It's nice to say sponsored. It really is. So just a quick little video about ways that you can observe the summer sun celebration. Yeah, like staying up all night and observing the sun. As you can tell by that yawn, I probably did that by accident yesterday. <laughs> or you could go to bed at a reasonable hour so that you could get up at sunrise. But I don't know that you could sleep through the parties that everyone else is having. Yeah, I'm thinking the getting up early is the better of the two. Because you have this whole day planned afterwards. Yeah, but what's one all-nighter? Yeah. Especially with your friends. Or family. Or both. Well, once you're up, you can enjoy some breakfast that's looking at you. Why is that pancake looking at me? Why is it looking at me? <laughs> it's supposed to make you smile. It's cute. Also, it's breakfast. Ah, oh, I know what I can do. I can eat this pancake. There, it won't look at me any longer. Yay, sugar, because after staying up all night, that's just what we need, is sugar. And coffee. Yes. For those who drink it. Or tea. You could have tea. Yes, whatever your caffeine vehicle of choice is. Okay, so we're up, we're fed, now what? So we're fueled and ready to go outside and have some fun with friends and family. Because, of course, on the summer sun celebration, it's going to be a beautiful sunny day. Thanks to the weather ponies. <laughs> So, let's play some games, run around, climb a tree. Lay underneath a tree, lay on the grass, play an instrument or two. Or listen to some pony play those instruments. So, yeah, decorations, because why not decorate for a celebration? How about some lavender? It has a nice smell to it, very pretty. Yeah, it kind of reminds you of Luna. A little bit, a little bit. Also, it has a very soothing smell. Mmm, yes. Could use soothing smells around here. Um, hmm. How did that get there? I don't remember putting... Ember, did you put that slide in? Hey, don't look at me. I gave you a clean file. Yeah, this is also where I'd like to point out that, yes, this is a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Just done Lux and Ember style. Moving on to what's actually important in this presentation. Yes, friends, family, and the sun. Praise the sun. Call me sun butt one more time. I can't believe she actually has a shirt like that. That's so awesome. <laughs> yes, but no, let's finish enjoying the day with our friends. Get some more food in there somewhere because we've been kind of busy. Yeah, probably lunch and enjoy some dinner and go out and enjoy the sunset. Or enjoy the sunset, then have some dinner. Either way, depends on how peckish you are. So, you started the day with the sunrise, so sunset. And now you have the night to deal with. Lots of fun activities at night. Watching the stars, looking at the moon, if you have a telescope, you can look out at other planets. There's also fireworks if it's legal in your county, state. District, if not, please only go and observe fireworks that are set off by professionals in a safe manner. If uh, fireworks are legal in your area, please follow the safe and sane safety rules. And if you're in one of those areas where it's not, I'm pretty sure you can find some really nice fireworks apps for your phone or TV, or if you're lucky enough, one of those nice virtual reality headsets. There you go. Or you could just watch the introduction to a Disney movie. Hmm. Yeah, the castle. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's actually a good one right there. Okay, so this was a very long day, day and a half, depending on whether you stayed up all night or got up early. So, sleep. You could sleep underneath the stars, preferably in a campsite. Or you could go out on your porch and just look up at the stars and take a nap out there. Roof. Roof is nice if you're good with heights and you have a nice flat area on your roof that would be safe to lay on. Because, you know, stargazing, fresh breezes. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our ideas on celebrating the Summer Sun celebration. And this has been Lux and Ember, brought to you by Sac Bronies. Wasn't that nice of them?